Jeff? Well, there's a couple of reports out. There's a couple of reports out that Chase suffered an injury in practice. I know you don't like talking about injuries, but can you address that if that's what his status is? Yeah, no, Chase did. And, um, you know, it's one of those that uh, don't quite know kind of for how long, you know, exactly. But, but he did uh, last week uh, suffer that. And, and uh, you know, again, you, you feel terrible for him. Cause I, I really liked what he was doing in camp. And, and yet the one thing I know that Chase will – he will stay in it, you know, and when he can get back, he'll uh, he'll be ready to go. But uh, th that is accurate. Kind of a follow-up then, obviously, with, with Chase unavailable for an extended period of time. Can you assess what you know about Deacon and Miles right now, since obviously Deacon ran the scout team, I'm guessing, last year, and Miles, you know, enrolled early. But where, where are those two guys standing, and how you have to get them up to speed now for as yeah, long as Yeah, time? I mean, there's... You know, you're talking about you got three quarterbacks left, right? You, you talk about Deacon and Miles and and Marshall, right? Those are the three, and and uh, you know the, they've all got to get some work because they're in that stage where they got to keep developing, you know. And so um, it's always a little bit more difficult at this point, but there's enough opportunities for us, and and, and that's what we've got to we've got to do. You know, couldn't sit here right now and tell you who, who's further ahead or not. You, you know, Deacon certainly has had more overall reps and, and Miles um, you know, had the spring and, and, and what he got in camp and even camp's hard because you know you're, you're focused on getting ready and, and yet you know I think all, all of them have done a good job of, of kind of the, the preparing mental side of it and, and now you know going to get some more reps. Graham, Paul, your head coach acknowledged that Chase went down with an injury and is going to be out for an extended period. Yeah. I know you can't worry about injuries in a game but does it affect you in any way how you're going to play whether you might tuck and run less knowing that he's out or no um i mean first off as soon as it happened it, i mean i'm so close with wolfie it, it kind of sucked um, so just offering all my prayers up to him and he's, he's in surgery probably uh here in, in a little bit um so i mean obviously you never want to see your buddy go down and uh that, that was hard right when it happened but uh i mean i'm, I'm always there with him we, we ride together so uh but no, it doesn't affect any of how I play. Um, I don't think it should. In terms of guys who will be your backup now, does anybody really stand out between Deacon and Miles at this point? What do you see? Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's it's a it's a whole unit effort. Um, I mean, uh, not at the, not at the top of my head, um, but I, I know whoever it is will be ready. What does Deacon give you guys? Um, yeah. What improvement has he shown since he? Yeah, here? yeah. I think I think overall, just his uh, general knowledge of the offense. I mean, obviously, it's a it's an NFL playbook, and it's, it's a lot to learn and a lot to uh, but that you got to own. And I think he's doing a good job with stepping in that role. Oh, yeah. Same thing. Uh, I think one thing about him is he asks a ton of great questions, and he'll he'll come to me with stuff that's just quick and easy that I can rattle off to him. So I mean, he's been, he's been, ever since the start, he's been a sponge, just soaking all the information he can. So uh, they they both do a great job.